How can you tell the difference without using any tests between a meniscal tear and a ACL tear? Oh, that's a great question. And honestly, the initial uh, diagnosis actually comes down to how did your knee start hurting? Was there a traumatic event? Did you slip and fall? Were you playing sports? Were you playing basketball? Were you playing soccer? Were you planted your foot and turned? Did you hear a pop? Typically, when you hear a pop, it means something tore. So part of it is your history. How did you do it? Was it traumatic or did it gradually come on? Typically with ligament tears, you'll have a traumatic event, you'll twist, you'll pop, you'll be playing sports, you'll be hiking, you'll hear that pop, you'll feel that pain and your knee will start to swell. With a meniscal injury, it's more, it can be more gradual and you can get tiny tears over time due to wear and tear. Those will come on more gradually, there won't be a specific event that happened to you. And those are just some basic questions to ask yourself, how did it happen, did, was there an event or did it happen over time? So if you're sitting there with knee pain and you're wondering, is it a ligament tear or is it my meniscus? When you have a ligament tear, you will experience quite a bit of swelling within the first 24 to 48 hours after the injury. That's one way to tell. The other way to tell is that you'll feel like your knee is going to give out on you. You'll have this feeling like your knee is going to give out. Especially when you go upstairs, you'll feel like it's going to give out. And downstairs, it's gonna feel like it's gonna give out. With a meniscal injury, you won't necessarily have um, swelling all the time. It'll come on gradually. Your symptoms of knee pain will start to hurt, but it will lock up. You'll get in certain positions where you're bending your knee and it will lock up on you and you'll have to kind of play around with it to get it to unlock and, and be able to straighten it out and bend it and move it again. That's usually the sign that you've got uh, some kind of meniscal injury.